This is the front side of the study guide for test one of quarter four for algebra A. And this test is on rational expressions. We're going to end up multiplying, uh, dividing, adding, and subtracting these rational expressions along with simplifying. And that's what we're doing on this first problem here. We're going to simplify it. Now, the common mistake is people want to cancel out these fours, but you can't do it because it's not really four on top or the bottom. This means this 4 is being added to B. So this all this is saying is we have 4 more than B. So in order to cancel, we have to have factors. And that's what we're going to do with the denominator of this fraction. So we're just going to rewrite the numerator up top. And then the denominator is going to be two binomials. And so those two binomials are going to end up being a B plus 4 and a B plus 1. Those are the two numbers that multiply to make 4. But when we check those outside and inside terms, they add to make a 5b. So now we can go ahead and cancel out those b plus 4s because the b plus 4 is now being multiplied by the b plus 1. So those do end up canceling out, but when you cancel them out, you're left with 1. Well, 1 times a number doesn't change anything, but we need to show that the b plus 1 is in the denominator. It's the divisor, and so we need to make sure we write this as a fraction and have 1 over b plus 1. <clears throat> the next one. Again, common mistake is people want to cancel out these t squareds, but you can't quite do that. You need to factor. And so that's what we're going to do on the top of this fraction. And so we've got a t and a t to make t squared. The numbers that multiply to make 21 would be 7 and 3, and they do subtract to make 4. To make it a negative 21, we need one of them a positive and one a negative. Now, to get that order, we figured that the middle term was positive, so we needed more positives than negatives. Well, the denominator factors to two binomials. It's a t minus 3 and a t minus 2. They have to be the same sign because they multiply to make a positive 6 and add to make a negative 5. And so we can go ahead and cancel out those common terms. So it looks like the t minus 3s are going to cancel out this time, leaving us with the t plus 7 on top. And down below, we got a t minus 2. Well, let's take a look at our next one. <clears throat> this one's a little different because you see how the constant is first, then the variable term. Whenever you have that, typically there's a minus sign between, and there is in this case. So we're going to take out a common factor of negative 2. I'm going to divide both of them by a negative because I want to switch the sign. I want to make x positive. So now I've got negative 2, and I'll switch the order of these numbers. See, negative 2 times x makes a negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 5 makes a positive 10. And then down below, it's a difference of squares. And this is going to factor to an x minus 5 multiplied by an x plus 5. So from that point, we can go ahead and cancel out those common factors of x minus 5. So what's left over? Well, it's a negative 2 on top and an x plus 5 on the bottom of the fraction. <clears throat> Let's take a look at our next one. It's a multiplying to rational expressions. And so when we do this, since we have no addition signs or subtraction signs, I'm going to use the commutative property. I'm going to commute the numbers next to each other and then the x's. So it looks like I've got three of them all together. Two and then one make three. And then I've got two of these y's, so I'm going to write y squared. Down below I've got a two, nine, and then I count up those x's. It looks like there's just four of them and there are three y's. So now we're ready to cancel. So this 9 here is going to go into 3. Well, just one 3 goes into that 9 one time, and 3 goes into the 9 three times. And so these three x's will take away three x's from the bottom, leaving us with one x in the bottom. And then these two y's will disappear, leaving us just with one y on the bottom. So what's left over? Well, I've got a 5 on the top. Down below, 2 times 3 makes 6. Then I've got the x and the y. So 5 over 6xy. Well, at the top of this fraction, since there's addition signs, I'm going to need to factor. So take out the common factor. m 5m squared is going to go on the outside of a parenthesis. Do the division and see what's left over. Well, what we have is an m plus 2. Over on the other side of the multiplication sign, the top of that fraction has a difference of 2 squares, m minus 3 and m plus 3. Well, now we're on to the bottom of the fraction, and take out that common factor of 6m. So 6m is going to go on the outside. Do the division, you've got a m plus 3. Here we have a difference, not a difference, but a trinomial that is a quadratic, because it's squared. So if it factors, it's going to factor as two binomials. 
So m plus 2 and m plus 1. Well, we're ready to cancel. So we'll go ahead and cancel out those m plus 3s. And it looks like an m plus 2s kind of cancel. And we'll take away one of these m's from the bottom. Take away one from the top leaves us with 1m on top. So what we have is a 5m multiplied by m minus 3 on top. Down below, you've got a 6 multiplied by an m plus 1. There is our answer. Division. Well, division, what we're going to do is we're going to take the reciprocal and then multiply. So I'm going to go ahead and factor as I go. So I'm going to factor this x squared minus 9. It's going to factor to an x minus 3 and an x plus 3. Let's just go ahead and fix that. It looks a little sloppy. So we've got the x minus 3, as I said, multiplied by this x plus 3. And now I'm going to take the reciprocal. So this is going to be on top. So this factors to a 2x and an x makes 2x squared. Numbers that multiply to make 3 would be like a 3 and a 1. Now I put them in this order because 2 times 3 makes 6, 1 times x makes 1. Those add to make 7. And if I make them both negative, they'll add to make negative 7. Denominator here, it's going to be an x minus 3 and an x plus 2. They have to be opposite signs because they multiply to make a negative. And here we have a common factor of 4. So you're going to take that 4 on the outside. And when we do this, we actually end up getting a difference of squares. x squared minus 9, and that will factor to an x minus 3 and an x plus 3. And it just so happens we had that x squared minus 9 on top. See, x minus 3, x plus 3. Those are going to end up canceling. Got another x minus 3 canceling that, that other one, but that's it. So what we have left is a 2x minus 1 on top, 4 times by an x plus 2 on the bottom of the fraction. There is our answer. Well, those are the first six problems you'll see on the study guide. In the next part, you'll see the last three.